Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Miguel back again with another video and today I have uh, a phone that or a company that I really haven't uh, touched ever since I started this channel. I think this is probably one of the first Motorola phones that I'm reviewing and this is the Moto G84 which is a 5G device and the reason why this intrigued me is that even though this is a budget phone or it's a very cheap phone, um, it actually has a couple of things that I really liked about this um, and specifically uh, the display and a few more things that are not really seen on phones that costs just below the $300 line. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do a review and an unboxing. Motorola is kind of like making a comeback in the UAE, so I was intrigued to go ahead and review this phone for people that may be interested in buying or making an investment towards a Motorola phone. As I just mentioned, this phone costs less than $300, about $285 to be exact, and it already comes with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. The color that we have here is the mid night blue color and if we just look at the box we also have a 50 megapixel uh, camera with optical image stabilization and uh, we also have Dolby Atmos high-res and stereo speakers let's go ahead and see what we have so we have the phone up front which is already turned on because uh, I wanted to test it out and this also comes with a plastic or a silicon case which was already pre-applied. We also have some paperwork, the same ejector pin. We also get a 33 watt fast charger out of the box alongside a USB-A to USB-C cable. Let me go ahead and now take this off. So just looking at the phone, this is a 6.5 inch uh, device or display and uh, this has a P-OLED display and a lot of people may not be familiar with what P-OLED is but uh, uh, LG also is known to, to make screens apart from Samsung and apart from other big names out there. The displays that uh, LG makes are they are kind of called or are classified as P OLED displays and this is exactly that. Uh, the surprising thing again about this is that this also has 120 Hertz of refresh rate and it also has a full HD resolution and I have to say that the display is pretty good on this one. I'm actually a little bit impressed by it and this phone is very similar to another phone that I just reviewed uh, which the video should be up by now but the, uh, the phone that I reviewed was the Redmi Note 13 and this is actually very similar to that because price wise as well that cost just around about between 200 and 300 dollars we're now seeing 120 hertz on phones that are priced this low the only funny thing is that when i think about apple which has a phone that costs 800 dollars it still has a 60 hertz display i'm talking about the iphone 15 the standard edition um, so uh, phones that cost just less than 300 dollars are now coming up with uh, technologies that are honestly flagship level at this moment um, and i think that to distinguish that maybe flagship level phones will have have to increase their refresh rate or we may start very soon we may start seeing phones that come with 144 hertz in the near future to kind of distinguish that and have a little bit of a difference between budget or cheap phones and flagship level phones we have a plastic frame uh, all around uh, we have the walling rockers on this side we also have the power button here we have the USB-C uh, uh, port over here we have a stereo speaker the 3.5 millimeter audio jack um, and uh, another speaker or a noise cancelling speaker on top. We also have dual SIM options here, but it is a kind of like a hybrid model, which means that you can put in two SIMs or you can put one SIM with alongside a micro SD card if you want to. Just looking at the display, I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed by the uh, by how snappy it is and, and you can tell that this is a premium display, even though the phone doesn't really feel premium. It's a very lightweight phone and you can immediately tell that this is a plastic phone, but the display is actually doing it justice, I would have to say. Protection wise, we don't really have any Gorilla Glass uh, on here is just a simple glass front but we do have IP54 dust and water resistance so you are getting a little bit of uh, protection there and apart from that we have a 50 megapixel camera here on the back which I'll go ahead and test that in a little bit. If we talk about the performance then this comes with Snapdragon 695 chip which is a chip that's based on a 6 nanometer platform. It is a 5G chip and again numbers wise this game is around 346,000 points which I have to say it's very similar to what we also saw on the Redmi Note 13 but that uh, was the 4G chip and that had the Snapdragon I believe 685 was the chip that gave us slightly higher numbers but uh, I'm, I'm not sure why even though this chip is actually 
uh, a little bit better than that one. And uh, this is also uh, 12 gigs of RAM, whereas the Redmi, we had it at 8 gigs of RAM. Um, there may be a little bit of a difference when it comes to performance mode. Sometimes numbers can be a little bit uh, up or down, but uh, just around 350 to 400,000 points is what you'll get out of this. Not bad at all considering what, what this phone is going to cost you. Um, so I wouldn't be worried about that. And you can still play games like PUBG without having uh, any issues. So if we talk about cameras, we have a 50 megapixel camera on the back. We also have a wide, an ultra wide 8 megapixel camera. I took a few photos and they were very grainy. Um, I can even tell right now that it's not really a good camera in my opinion. So this phone is not camera centered. I would uh, say that if you want to buy a phone that has a, a slightly better camera, then go for the Redmi, which uh, has uh, a, a 108 megapixel camera, which is pretty decent. The front camera is also a uh, 16 megapixel camera and uh, and it's 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 very zoomed in it's what i noticed so i mean it's so zoomed in so i have to actually reach out like that in order to take a picture where my face is within the frame <laughs> so that's kind of funny uh, but the the front camera is just okay um it, it kind of is giving me that uh, beautifying factor which is something that i don't like uh, you can't really expect too much out of these cameras but they will shoot 1080p resolution video of both front and the back cameras at uh, 30 and 60 fps so we unfortunately don't have any 4k options there last but not least if we talk about the battery then this comes with a 5000 milliampere battery pretty standard stuff and we also get the 33 watt charger that comes out of the box so this will pretty much last you all day depending on what mode you have it in when you come to the display so you can actually change the display refresh rate to auto or you can turn it down to 60 at all times or 120 at all times so you do get the option of optimizing it so that you can save a little bit of battery and again guys this will cost you around 285 dollars depending on what option you go with this is available with 8 gigs of ram 12 gigs of ram as well and that's just around a thousand dirhams uh, 900 to between a thousand to 1100 dirhams is what this phone will cost you and yeah guys that's uh, pretty much it i just wanted to do a quick review of the motorola g84 5g i've seen motorola making a comeback uh, especially in this market so um, just wanted to do a video in case any of you guys are interested in buying this let me know your thoughts down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out